Well, the Starkville Octobaha County School District has been awarded $100,000 for new technology in the classroom. It's part of Governor Tate Reeves emergency education relief grant. Part of that money paid for the installation of 25 cameras and microphones at two schools. Our Stephanie Poole learns more on how the equipment can help navigate the path towards student achievement. She joins us live in the studio with more. Stephanie. The devices are expected to improve learning experiences for students, but these resources will help in other areas too. Educators tell me having more resources and support in the classroom can reduce brain drain in Mississippi. Students at Starkville High School may begin to notice something different. Good morning class. See the black box? It's a portable microphone for teachers. 13 devices are installed at Starkville High School. 12 devices at Armstrong Junior High School. Those classrooms have a microphone for teachers and students. There's also a camera so educators can record classes for virtual learners. This is the one piece of new technology that has really, really, really been a game changer. Shauna Riles is an English teacher. She says being able to communicate effectively is vital. When students are responding, then I can pass it to a student who sits on one end of the classroom and students on the other end can actually hear. I, I teach language. They need to be able to hear what I'm saying and the way I'm saying it. Uh, and I need to be able to hear them too. And these resources play another role in the classroom to help retain teachers. A lot of educators are crossing state lines out of Mississippi searching for higher paying salaries. They're searching for more equipment and more educational programs that will benefit to their profession in the field. Brain drain is real and it's beginning to happen a lot more throughout the state. What are some of your thoughts about that? I think that to be treated like a professional like we are, you know, we're all very highly educated and we work very hard. You can't be a teacher and not be passionate about your students because it's not about me, it's about them. Spanish teacher Doug Houston says money is a concern for many, but it's not the sole reason why he chose the classroom. Part of our pay is to see students grabbing onto the material that we're teaching. Um, and so anytime you get that, that is another incentive for teachers. Great. The district is doing what they can do to help students learn in the classroom and help me be more effective as a teacher. This year is harder than last year. There's more to do. There's less time to do it. If I feel appreciated and I feel shown and I feel the freedom to get in there, girl, and do what you do, teach that class, let's soar. Um, it's, it makes it much easier for me to not think about an out. Devices will be monitored over the next several weeks to analyze performance in the classroom and board members will then make a decision to install devices in the remaining rooms.